October 2025. An object from beyond our solar system passes Mars. Five spacecraft watch from orbit. Five nations hold the most powerful cameras ever sent to another world. And then, nothing. No images. No data releases. Just silence. This is the story of what didn't happen. Or rather, what happened but was never shown to us. It begins with China's Tianwen-1 mission, a spacecraft that had never been shy about sharing its discoveries. For four years, Tianwen-1 had been a reliable messenger from Mars. Thousands upon thousands of photographs, detailed maps of craters, valleys, and dust storms. China broadcast them proudly, each image a statement to the world, we have arrived and we are here to stay. But when the interstellar visitor known as 3I-Atlas swept past the red planet in early October, Tianwen-1 went dark. No photos, no press releases. Beijing offered no explanation, no acknowledgement that anything unusual had occurred at all. And China wasn't alone in its silence. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter saw the flyby, so did Europe's Mars Express and ExoMars orbiters. The United Arab Emirates Hope Probe was there too. Together, they formed the most capable observation network humanity had ever positioned around another planet. Under any normal circumstance, the data would have been everywhere within hours. Scientists love to talk. Space agencies love to compete. But this time, everyone stayed quiet. At first, the explanations seemed reasonable enough. NASA blamed the United States government shutdown, which had furloughed key personnel just two days before the encounter. The European Space Agency said their images were still being processed, still under review. The UAE deferred to its international partners. But as one day became three, then five, then a full week without a single released image, something felt wrong. This wasn't bureaucracy. This was coordination. A silence too uniform to be coincidence. Amateur radio operators noticed something strange. Encrypted transmissions were still flowing from Mars. The orbiters were active. They were sending data back to Earth. Lots of it. But none of that information was reaching the public. Perhaps the silence made sense when you understood what 3I-Atlas actually was, or rather, what it appeared to be. Because from the moment astronomers first detected it, nothing about this object fit the rules. Normal comets are mostly water ice. They vent steam as they approach the sun. But 3I-Atlas expelled carbon dioxide at a ratio of 8 parts CO2 to 1 part water. No known natural body had ever shown that chemistry. Its surface reflected light in ways that suggested nickel, but showed no iron. That's backwards. Planetary formation doesn't work that way. And strangest of all, it vented gas constantly, powerful jets that should have pushed it off course. But its trajectory never changed, not by a millimeter, as if Newton's laws simply didn't apply. Then there was the path it took. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, a sequence of near-perfect planetary encounters that computer models said had less than one chance in 20,000 of happening randomly. It was threading needles across the solar system with impossible precision. Some measurements suggested 3I-Atlas might be 7 to 14 billion years old, older than our sun, perhaps older than most stars in the Milky Way galaxy itself. How could something survive that long in space without being destroyed, without colliding with anything, without being torn apart by gravity or radiation? Unless it was designed to endure. A private research group ran the numbers using Bayesian probability modeling. They calculated the odds. Natural object versus artificial construction? The result stopped them cold. 
the statistical factor favored artificial origin by 10 to the 28th power. That's a 1 followed by 28 zeros, a number so large it defies comprehension. The researchers published their math, but carefully avoided stating the obvious conclusion. The numbers, however, spoke for themselves. Which brings us back to October and that carefully orchestrated blackout. Under normal circumstances, a discovery this significant would trigger fierce competition, every space agency racing to publish first, to claim credit, to plant their flag on a historic observation. Instead, every statement sounded identical. Data under review, preliminary calibration in progress, no comment at this time, as if the world's scientists had suddenly lost all curiosity. There's a protocol for this. It was written decades ago by researchers involved in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, a set of guidelines for what to do if evidence of non-human technology ever appeared. Rule 1. Verify independently before saying anything publicly. Share data privately with other agencies. Make no unilateral announcements until multiple groups have confirmed the same thing. In theory, these rules prevent embarrassing false alarms. In practice, they create exactly what we saw. Coordinated silence. By mid-October, attention shifted to a crucial date. October 29, 2025. Perihelion. The point where 3i-slash-Atlas would pass closest to the sun, about 203 million kilometers away. For an ordinary comment, this proximity would be catastrophic. Solar heat would boil away ice, create enormous gas jets, possibly tear the nucleus apart completely. Scientists prepared their instruments for a spectacular show of physics and chemistry. Europe's ExoMars orbiter released a few preview images as the object brightened. They showed faint streaks around 3i slash Atlas. Officials insisted these were just background stars or sensor noise. No confirmed secondary bodies, the captions read. But image analysts saw patterns they couldn't explain. Symmetrical arcs. Too structured to be random interference. Too consistent to ignore. When perihelion arrived, every telescope on Earth and in orbit turned toward the inner solar system. 3i slash Atlas flared brighter. Its jets formed luminous streams, visible in infrared. But instead of breaking apart chaotically, it stabilized. The emissions pulsed, rhythmically, steadily. And then something extraordinary happened. Six smaller points of light detached from the main body. They drifted outward slowly, maintaining perfect spacing, moving in formation. No debris cloud, no rotation, no scattering. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where operations had partially resumed after the shutdown, analysts watched their screens in stunned silence. Fragments, someone whispered. They're moving too cleanly, another replied. The same scene played out in mission control centers across the globe. Darmstadt, Germany. Beijing, Dubai. Six objects separating each maintaining precise distance from the others, trailing in sequence behind the parent body like a formation of aircraft. This wasn't fragmentation. This was something else entirely. In the weeks that followed, Europe's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, JUICE, maintained surveillance from millions of kilometers away. The spacecraft's instruments detected a convoy, multiple small objects accompanying 3i slash Atlas as it moved outward from the sun. They spread gradually across the thousands of kilometers of space, but their formation remained remarkably orderly. Each object reflected sunlight sharply, as though metallic. Infrared scans showed no outgassing, no vapor trails, no dust, no comet tail. They weren't behaving like ice. They were simply there. Then Juice recorded something even stranger. One of the smaller objects changed course. 
a tiny deviation, just a few meters per second, but completely inconsistent with purely ballistic motion, objects in space don't just change direction on their own. Solar radiation pressure could cause it, a micro-impact with space dust, or a calibration error in the measurements. Or, as some quietly speculated, it could have been intentional, a maneuver. The public statements that finally emerged said almost nothing. The European Space Agency called it fragmentation of uncertain nature. NASA introduced a new term, anomalous stability. Beijing remained completely silent. Across all major space powers, the language of caution became universal. Acknowledge the strangeness without naming it. Describe the mystery without explaining it. To the public, the blackout itself became the story. We live in an age of instant imagery. Live-streamed rover selfies, real-time spacewalks from the International Space Station. Science has never been more visible, more theatrical. That the world's major powers could collectively suppress data on an event of this magnitude felt anachronistic, a return to Cold War secrecy. And yet, perhaps, that's precisely the point. Some scientists began using a metaphor in private conversations. They called 3 i atlas an interstellar gardener, a machine designed to disperse smaller bodies, perhaps probes, across planetary systems the way a dandelion releases seeds to the wind. The metaphor was poetic. It was also terrifying. If true, it meant humanity had just witnessed a technology designed to survive cosmic time through replication. A civilization capable of building such a thing would be older than our species, possibly older than Earth itself. Earth-based observatories began monitoring for anything entering our atmosphere, anything that might suggest one of those smaller objects was coming our way. Nothing appeared. But as one researcher admitted, if it's a natural breakup, we'll see dust. If it's not, we may not see anything. Today, 3i slash Atlas continues its journey outward, beyond Mars, beyond Jupiter, back toward interstellar space. It carries its secrets with it. It leaves behind only questions and a silence that stretches across continents, from Houston to Beijing, from Darmstadt to Dubai. Maybe it's just an extraordinarily stubborn comet. Maybe the smaller objects are natural debris, their formation a coincidence of geometry and timing. But if the symmetry holds, if those fragments continue moving as though guided, then the implications reshape everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. Perhaps the silence from space agencies isn't deception. Perhaps it's caution, a way of preparing humanity gradually rather than shocking us all at once. Or perhaps it's fear, not of what 3i slash Atlas is, but of what acknowledging it would force us to become. Silence is rarely neutral. In science, it can mean doubt. In politics, it means control. But in history, it sometimes signals the pause before revelation. That's where we stand now, waiting, wondering, listening to the quiet between transmissions, unsure whether what we're not being told is caution, consensus, or the first faint echo of contact. Somewhere beyond the sun, 3i slash Atlas drifts silently with its companions, patient as time itself. If they're fragments, they'll fade into darkness, if they're probes, they'll travel to destinations unknown. And if they're neither, then there's something we have no words for yet. <laughs>